welcome everyone so today we want to talk about a scenario if you don't match so as you all know match is uncertain but still the match rate of our imgs is close to 50% which means uh, there is a possibility that one out of two may not match and and then the season is almost all very uncertain because of covid and related travel issues and and things that you may have experienced so imgs historically have also needed many imgs have needed more than one cycle to match it is not unusual but we thought we'll bring you something from our panelist dr pagad who had to take multiple cycles to match so he can share his uh, perspective on what to do if you don't match so hopefully you'll all match but just in case you end up on the wrong side in this uh, season what all can you do so welcome uh, sukrut how are you i'm fine thank you pon how about you very good thank you so thank you for your time so you know uh, let's start with a bit of introduction about you uh, because you took multiple kind of uh, cycles absolutely so a little background about me is that i uh, graduated in 2017 from oman medical college and unfortunately it took me about uh, two attempts sorry three attempts to get into math cycle um but i was persistent and i wanted internal medicine and i didn't want to uh, i couldn't see myself do anything else but internal medicine thank you so let's first start with the the burning question many students will uh you know they don't know how to prepare for the d day the match day march 14 uh what should be the expectation how should they prepare so what what did you go through on those match days and then how did you prepare yourself for the expected or the unexpected results absolutely so uh the week prior to match day is extremely stressful you know no matter how how you plan you're always going to be stressed out but the way i kept myself calm is you know i put in the time i put in the effort i i put all this hard work into the application it's out of my hand now all i can do right now is be patient and hope for the best uh, unfortunately i've been in on the other on the receiving end where i was not successful and the way that i tackled it was you know i was calm i i it was disappointing but nonetheless i picked myself up and you know i saw the future and i kind of found out what i wanted to do and that's how i planned okay thank you so let's say uh, you know someone doesn't match so uh, they get to know at 9 am whatever the time is that they they have not matched uh, what should their immediate step be Yeah. so the immediate reaction is disappointment you know you're going to be really really upset but you also need to understand that the, within the next couple of uh, days uh, you have so so you need to pick yourself up you need to figure out where your application what your application lacks and you need to reach out to your contacts and you need to find out you need to prepare yourself for the next leg of the race okay let's say they go through so uh but you know the the odds are against an img matching in soap although it does happen probability is low so let's say they don't match in soap uh is there no hope or are there any other options they have after soap but before the prior uh, the next season so there's always op cycle uh, positions you, the way you do that is you need to keep uh, looking out for you know programs that have uh, that recently start or have an unexpected opening so there are certain website that you can go through or you can through word of mouth is uh, the other way that you can find out about these programs so there are certain ways but you need to be diligent you need to do your work and you need to keep a close eye on these vacant spots off cycle spots mm. okay all right so then let's assume that you know that didn't work out also and now we really have to prepare for the next season realistically so what are some of the top things you would recommend an applicant do in terms of self assessment in terms of so uh, preparation for the next season absolutely so you need to first find out you know look at your application as a whole you need to find out uh, where the flaws are you need if you can if you have a mentor or if you have friends uh, give them their cv give them a personal statement ask them to go over it uh, ask their input their their ask them to be critical of, of it and identify the flaws or uh, the holes in your application uh, 
find out what you're lacking, you know, is it be it clinical rotations, be it uh, research, determine what your application lacks. If it's clinical rotations, sign up for rotations, you know, uh, look out uh, for uh, paid uh, uh, services, or you can through word of mouth, but try to find these hands-on clinical experience because they're extremely vital. If your application, if you're, if you're applying for a specialty that's heavy on research, then you get, be involved in uh, research, uh, in publications, you reach out to friends. You, there's, uh, Sarthi, Yosemite Sarthi has a research course, you know, that, that helped me tremendously, you know, you can also look into that. Um, you know, stay away from negativity. Uh, don't, uh, just because you didn't match doesn't mean it's the end of the world, though you may feel like it's the end of the world. It really, you need to pick yourself up and you need to join. You need to find like-minded friends, you know, find out people who haven't matched, find out people who did match and ask them, you know, be, find a support group because this is the time where everything feels really dark and you need to find good company to motivate yourself because you need to keep pushing because within the next couple of months, the next cycle starts. So you need to have everything ready. Uh, there's always, you know, Pavan is always there. You know, he's had, he's been, uh, he's been doing this for several years. He has numerous stories, numerous uh, students who have reached out to him and who didn't successfully. I was one of them. You know, I matched uh, on the third of them because of Pavan. So reach out to, you know, uh, you know, reach out to your mentors, reach out to friends, ask them for their help, but find out where your application lacks and try to work on it. You know, that is one of our recommendations I would give to any applicant who did not match. And what is your uh, perspective on step three? But perspective on step three is definitely nowadays, it is one of those criteria that uh, programs, you know, if you look at the NRMP data, the, the it is at the very bottom of, uh, uh, of why I mean, our pr program director selecting a candidate, it plays a very little role. But nowadays uh, as an IMG, step three has become, everybody takes step three. So if you don't have step three on your application, get that thing sorted out finish it off. You know, if there's anything else that is uh, uh, missing, fill in those gaps. Okay. Uh, finally, I think one question that bothers a lot of people, especially those who are maybe uh, focusing on more than one specialty. So there, may, there are applicants applying to three, two, whatever number. And, uh, uh, you know, then they're really confused now if they haven't matched. So what is your suggestion uh, on how people should evaluate the choice of their specialty. Absolutely. So, you know, if you're applying to a specialty that uh, favors a step, high step one or say a high step two CK scores and you, you have a below average score, then you need to uh, formalize a different approach. You need to apply to a different specialty, but that does not mean that you kind of uh, spread your net over across all uh, specialties and hope one accepts you. That never works. You know, that shows the program, you know, lack of focus, lack of clarity, and that never works. So you need to focus on one or two specialties. You need to, you need to find your scores that suit the specialties. So that is my, one of my recommendations I would have for students. Okay. So just as we wrap up uh, in terms of uh, summarizing, uh, you know, don't lose hope. Uh, hope is there, and then maybe off-cycle position. If that doesn't work, uh, do a self-evaluation in terms of your fit to this specialty. Uh, look at your clinical experience. If you have, uh, you know, missing research, maybe step three is something that you are missing. But I think more importantly, what you said was uh, take out negativity and look for like-minded group of people who may not have matched. Get uh, mentorship and, and talk to people who have done it so that uh, you can uh, find out where the flaws are and what you can improve. Very well said, Apoor. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I know you're very busy, so I appreciate taking out time and uh, helping out applicants.